Hi, I'm Dr. Rick Goodman, leadership and employee engagement expert, keynote speaker, and author of the best-selling book, The Solutions-Oriented Leader. Is your goal to build a solutions-oriented team? Is your team already solutions-oriented? This is a question that CEOs, entrepreneurs, and leaders should be asking themselves in this new global business environment. As a result, the high-achieving companies and organizations that adapt and change will thrive in this new environment, and they will be solutions-oriented and innovative. The question you're probably asking yourself is, how can I tell if my team members are solutions oriented? Let me explain why this is important. Based on my experience working with world-class teams, I have identified specific characteristics that solutions oriented people have in common. Here are the four specific characteristics that I have identified which will assist you in developing a solutions oriented culture. Number one, they all have a can-do attitude and they are self-starters. I can spot a winner from a mile away. They carry themselves differently. They have that championship mindset. These are the individuals who are ready and willing to step up and do anything they can for the team to succeed. These individuals live by the words of the great NFL coach Vince Lombardi. If you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. If you're late, don't even bother showing up. Number two, they embrace lifelong learning. Solutions-oriented people understand and embrace the importance of lifelong learning. They know when you stop learning, you stop growing. In fact, when interviewing a new team member, I always make sure to assess their attitude towards continuing education, including training and development. You would be surprised at how many people already think they know everything there is to know about their job. This should be a red flag. If you're looking to put together a solutions-oriented team, the best organizations in the world understand the importance of studying their competition and being one step ahead of the game. They accomplish this through workshops, seminars, and ongoing training and development. Bill Gates once said, whether it's Google or Apple or free software, we've got some fantastic competitors and it keeps us on our toes. Now, Bill is certainly the perfect example of a solutions-oriented leader. Number three, the ability to stay focused. When you're looking to build a solutions-oriented team, it's critical the team members have an ability to stay focused under stress because they use critical thinking skills and focus on the root cause of problems. This gives these individuals the edge in developing solutions that get results. Now, strategic planning is crucial in setting timelines, goals, and benchmarks to keep the team focused and on task. It's the power of focus and trusting in that plan that allows these teams to excel even under the most stressful conditions. Number four, a solutions-oriented team can adapt to change easily. Solutions-oriented individuals understand the importance of change, and they are able to enter into what we call the adaptability zone. When a crisis hits or there is a downturn in business, they quickly take action while others wait because they are prepared. As a result, their adaptability is enhanced and so are their results. Because of this, they learn to adapt to the current circumstances while focusing on solutions and opportunities for the future. And the results speak for themselves. They are able to provide solutions to their clients and the organization can perform at world-class levels once again. Charles Darwin famously said, it's not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives, it's the one that is most adaptable to change. It's not easy developing a solutions-oriented team and building a culture of people who are focused on the big picture, which is providing solutions that get results, and that takes time, patience, and focus. And I can tell you, it's worth every minute. If you've learned something today, leave a comment below and please subscribe to our page. Until the next time, go out there and make it happen. To learn more about solutions-oriented leadership, please visit our website at rickgoodman.com or feel free to email me at info at rickgoodman.com and please subscribe to the Solutions Oriented Leader on iTunes or your favorite podcast app to get your weekly episodes automatically.